As you can see, it's dark. Um, we actually need to fix the breaker, so... Damn, there's no matches here. So, let's mess with this torch. We'll turn it on and use... Oh. Turn it on and mess with the matches. There we go. And yay, now we have a uh, lantern, which I actually like how this looks, because it actually makes it seem like... You know, there's there is shadows and stuff. It's not, you know, this game doesn't have the best graphics, which, you know, I have no problem with graphics in a game, but I don't know. It actually, like, looks like a place that would exist. It's not, you know, photorealistic, but it works. And there's also kind of, I like how there's, like, a little, you know, on the, the clock here, I like how there's, like, a little design where it's like, oh, yes, yeah, stuff's happening. Uh, let's see, we have to... Let's see, kitchen lights is going to be this fuse right here. Oh, let's turn it off. And uh, let's see, we got to repair it. So the fuse there is broken, but of course this is how you do it. I don't know if I actually... I actually don't know how this... I'm assuming electric stuff in England and your and America is not going to be too, too different, but... Yeah, you know, just put some, you know, electrical wire in there and, you know, slap that in and... Hooray, now it works, because it's perfect. Um, actually, I am going to. I'm, I, this is all I'm actually going to do in this room right now. I'm going to examine the um one of that hotel room real quick. So um yes, this said room two. Passcode was this, so it was nine two two. So let's go in here. Now there are a few things in here. Um, I came in here just because I, I kind of wanted to trigger some events and get some items. Um, and then I'm going to go back into the kitchen and kind of look around. Um, as you can see, you know, there, oh, there was, you know, there was a woman in here, you know, because you can see that. I think that's a shirt, pink shirt. Um, yeah, that looks like a woman's shirt. Uh, that I think is that entryway at the beginning of the game where we needed the lantern. Um, and that is one of the rocks. It looks like there's like an eye here and like a nose and a mouth and it's like Bleh. Um, I think this is a site of what the barrows were supposed to be at one point and there's, you know, bear teeth. Let's take this trowel. I don't know why, but let's take it. Hi Pete, I saw an article about the dig in the newspaper today. It condemns those working on it and anybody supporting it, so not overly positive. It's a small, cheap article. Even so, you know there are some fanatical people out there. They are opposed to the idea of any archaeological investigations. A small spot, a site like Barrow Hill is bound to upset them, especially those based down in Cornwall. They think the county is an island cut off from the rest of us. The article has the usual big mouth quotes and some ridiculous talk of evil tidings. What are these people like? Be careful. You know how obsessive some people can get. Hopefully the site is secure and Conrad knows his enemies. Lucy! Oh, I was supposed to read that one. Wait, wait, wait. What is the date? Oh, September 8th, that's, that's the day before my birthday. Aww. Now let's look in here. We're going to take this battery. And, oh. Hi, Pete. I had no idea you were working for Con Conrad Morse. I was supposed to read your name on the package uh, that arrived. How did he find you? Uh, it wasn't, it wouldn't, it shouldn't surprise me. Surprise me, really. You are the best in the field. You always were. There are mixed views on Conrad's uh, dig at Barrow Hill. Many think, many think the site should be left undisturbed. Some say that it hasn't been touched in courted history, and the locals both guard and fear it. It's mentioned in passing in a few documents, as is the survey carried out years ago. I read that the woman conducting the original survey disappeared, and was never seen again. Spooky! I hear the location is stunning, and the area is beautiful, so who wouldn't become transfixed by it? Perhaps she's still there? <laughs> I have run a few tests on the materials you set up, set up from the initial test pit trenches around the circle. I'll send detailed results soon. I might try to take a trip down there. It can't take long on the train. Ho hopefully my luggage won't go missing like it did last time I came up to see you. It's been so long. Love, Lucy. Now let's listen to some cool jams. Oh yeah. That's... That's it. That is that is the groovinest music ever. Uh, sometimes there's actually really funny commercials in here, and you can tell it's British people doing American accents, and I always find that hilarious. You're listening to 24 Hour Horoscopes, <laughs> your easy link to your destiny and future. Okay. Libra. 
Yeah, I'm not close to that. And this there we is go. Emma Harry, back on the air again after that power cut. I'll be your nightlight till around about one o'clock, so long as we don't have any more power out. I've braved outside to fire up the generator and I'm up and running under my own steam. Hi tonight at the BHR station, alone here on Barrow Hill. Though I could swear I saw someone up here with me a moment ago. <laughs> with a little bit less daylight this time of year, you can imagine anything in that ever-increasing darkness. Why not give me a call and say hello on 585? And in case you've forgotten, it's... The autumn equinox, the beginning of autumn, or for those from across the pond, the beginning of fall. And while the daylight hours are dwindling, there's a harvest festival celebration tomorrow down by the harbour. But if you're so excited you can't sleep, well, stay up with me and I'll figure out some way to keep you occupied. And that's what I was thinking of the first day of fall, because I'm American, I'm dumb and stupid like that. Uh, but it's alright. Oh, I did not realize there was a shoe here. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to uh, charge the phone here because it's dead. And uh, oop, don't don't back up. Oh, okay. Let's just put the uh, phone on here and charge it. Um, I. Oh, hello, sounds. Well, that was a sound, all right. Um, I'm pretty sure this this is not like a set. Time. I think you have to have just so many things happen, and Ozzy is just sleeping comfy on her bed, like three feet from me, and she's really just passed the fuck out. It's kind of adorable. Um, you have to let a few, um, I think you just have to have like several different things happen as I just jiggle this thing over the mouse, uh, mouse over this, um, before it is charged. So it's not like, you know, you just wait five minutes in game and then it's done. Um, you just have to wait. Um,. You can read this. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't believe anything in most. Most of these notes don't mean much. Let's look in here. Uh, journal. Um, there's a lot of information here. I remember there's like seven or eight pages in here. Um, if you do want to read it, um, pause it. I'm not going to read this all. There's another one of the barrows. This is also the uh, insignia for whenever uh, the game is uh, the, for the taskbar. That's the little signal thing. And that's also the uh, start game icon. Again, that's the little entryway thing we saw at the beginning. What's this? And I'm going to uh, spoil that that's the, B the B BHR uh, radio station, which... I, when I, before I first played it, like I actually thought it was going to be like I didn't expect it to be you know just a trailer next to a satellite aerial. I expected it to be you know a small building, not that. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Um, now uh, actually I lied. I am going to uh, now I might as well go back to the kitchen and just explore it because I want to grab a couple of different items. Um. Because we will, uh, I'll be getting some that actually are relevant to the rest of the game. Um, there's really only a couple of things here um, that's worth picking up. Um, and we we can listen to the radio again. Hey Bob, you looking good This is the days. radio I was talking My about. starting to thin. Works types not caught up with you. Well, Jim. It's all down to my new shampoo. It brings my hair back to life and makes me feel more youthful. Wow! How does it do that? It's marine enriched, reviving my hair's life and vitality with organic fish oils. It's a natural restoring hair tonic from Aqua Sensations. I'll have to get some myself. What's it called again? Omega-3 Regeneration. With Omega-3 Regeneration, you'll soon be looking and feeling 20 years younger. You should see what it's done to my cat. <laughs> There's a place for you at South High Six. Okay, okay, that's that's enough. That guy went from I, I swear that guy went odd, uh, Scot, uh, oddish, a uh, Scot, uh, Scottish to English. Where he's like twenty years later. <laughs> I I can't do accents that well. Um, 
but <laughs> when people can't do accents right, like, like I don't know. I find that so funny when British people do American accents. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it is. Great day. Yeah. Um, let's listen to Emma Harry again. Ahoy, mateys. This is BHR. It's Emma Harry beaming a signal across the sea from the crew and the Jolly Sailor. Fishing 15 miles out tonight. Here's a warm hello and keep a watch out for any dark clouds heading in from the west. I haven't rechecked with the weatherman just yet, so I can't say for sure about that rain. But there's a bright moon in the sky and a gentle breeze. You can almost smell that equinox. <coughs> Quiet, Minty. I'm Emma Harry. And if you don't have anything to do right now, I'll be right here playing music all through the witching hour till about one o'clock. Winsy's here to keep me company, grinning like a Cheshire cat. And I'm here to keep you company. We've got a caller on the line. Hello, you're live on air at BHR. Get away, get away. No, no, save me. You've got to get me out of here. I know this it's voice. Here. I saw it from the window. It got them and it's after me too. Ben. It got all of them. We're the only ones left. You've got to run. Run, don't you see? Ben, you woke something is up. that you? It's here and it's hungry. All those stories, they're all true. Are, are you messing about? Here, been taken for him, taken to it by his own army. They could be anywhere, anything. He controls it all. The Wh rocks, what's going the on? Feeding. I thought I was safe, but I'm not. It's only a matter of time. Get me out. Let me out. It will hear me. That's uh, a little strange. I hope that was a joke. I'll, I'll try and give him a call back. If there are any other late night listeners who want to give me a call, the number, as always, is 585-21. I've got some more music for the rest of you and a few nice surprises coming up. Not least our usual book at bedtime. For those who need to catch up, the Mad Hatter expects you at the tea party. Before that, I'll be ready to check in with the weatherman. In the meantime, relax while I play these songs and messages. <laughs> So yeah, um, Emma Harry, her voice acting is actually pretty. I, I feel it's pretty good. Uh, ben just definitely on the. Um, I don't know why some of these always just make me funny. Wash your hands with soap and warm running water, and dry them on a single, single-use towel or air dryer, especially before preparing food after handling raw meat or poultry or after using the toilet. Food safety, for goodness' sake! I don't know. Those make me laugh. They're, those are always just funny. Um, but yeah, Emma Harry actually, has, I feel she has good voice acting. And this this makes me laugh. An undercooked egg could be murder. Do not kill your customers. Uh, it's so terrible. It's so terrible. Also, there's these egg cups which we can take. I will show you what they are used for, maybe. And there's also this basket which we can take too. And that basket is here. Um, as far as I'm aware of, I can only find uh, maybe one or two things it's useful for. Um, this we will be messing with later. Not right now, though. And uh, since this was uh, busted and locked, uh, let's use a trowel and steal some money. Oh, oh I thought there was uh, uh, coins, other coins in there I could grab. Nope, guess not. Uh, actually, let me talk to Ben and see if maybe he has something else to say right now. Who's that? Oh, it's you. I've been watching you on the CCTV camera. Walking about. Don't you know what's out there? I hear it. The voices in my head. They echo on and on and on. Timeless. Fearless. Faceless. It's heavy with sleep after feeding. It'll wake soon. It'll come for you. It's tracking you, following your scent and mine. I hope you're next. Then maybe it'll leave me alone. The shadow moves. Even with that lamp, you'll not get far. It's only a matter of time before it finds you, hunts you down. If I can hide long enough, someone's bound to come. Maybe I can get away. And why shouldn't I? Why? Why? Maybe it was you all along, murderer, murderer. They were just arriving. They'd just driven in and it caught them, burnt them, cut them down as they ran. It happened in seconds. It couldn't have been real. I must have been dreaming. Get away from me! They drove in. 
Now, you may think that um, Ben talking like that makes it seem like the bad guy in this game is very, 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 um, very powerful. I laugh at the bad guy in this game. I do. Um, I'm going to sneak behind the building here, and uh, we'll see what's going on back here. Oh, let me uh, mess with this aerial first. Um, I'm, off the top of my head, I'm not too sure what this is, like what this is for, but we need to make sure that the operates, um, it's between 830 and 865 megahertz, which is just a push random buttons until you get them right. It, no, no, that's not it. Um, nope, 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 too much. Um. Um. Nope. Oh no. I did this last night, and there was like only. Oh, come on. I, I, I did it last night, and it didn't take me that long to do. Nope. Uh, I know there's like three different ways you can do this. Come on. Damn it. Mm. Mm. Well, give me just one second, people. <laughs> 